Hey guys, today I'm playing Sumerians. This just had a full release on October the 13th. I think that's the right date. It's an ancient city builder. There's no uh, warfare in the game. But you do have to provide things like security by building uh, uh, town walls around the around your city. Let's just go ahead and jump straight in. You can choose a, choose a whole bunch of maps here. You can go like a small and just choose a small little square or medium and choose one of these. Go for a large. Medium is quite large though. I like this little island right there. So this is on medium and we'll just jump right in. So yeah, please hit that like button, subscribe and consider becoming a member for $2 a month. I really appreciate it. So I'm just going to find a nice angle here and we'll build towards that little mountain. So the first thing you do here is you drop down your town hall. You press X or Z to rotate. Uh, I like to get kind of perfect. I think this is good. Now hit the space bar to pause it. It's kind of like uh, Sim City where you have housing zones, uh, citizen farming for them, workshops, and then your market stalls. So the idea here is I might kind of position it in a circle so I can enclose it in the walls to level up the workshop and housing zones you need things like city walls and that, that'll also increase the land value so I'll just go and just click and drag what's really cool too is as the villagers walk around they'll make roads and then I'll put the workshops over here okay that should be good and I'm gonna have to build so I'll click this is the the first thing to do is your state field. This is how you pay people their wages. And so I'll probably just start right here. This is fertile ground. And you need to have a, a farm and building. So I'll build that right there. I'm going to need a ton of farming. So I'll just get all of this laid out and I'll probably have, I'm going to build uh, two of these farms. Oh, so you press, what did I do there? Okay, so I got that laid out. We have two farms. The nice thing about this is you can adjust the radius to, uh, to narrow down where you want. And then we'll click on the building section and we'll get some builders up and running. So these also have a radius. So if you wonder for some reason, hey, why is this portion of the wall not being built? Well, check out your, your building radius. So I'll have to get that like, this is just to start, but I'll get that right there. And let's just press the space bar and get things up and running. So. If you, you also need to have your housing zone down before they do anything. There's no houses, they don't want to work. And I'll build some citizen farming. This is just, this has to be on the green area. But eventually I'll, uh, I'll have some trenches to bring the water up, whatever you call that. And we can make sure that all this area is nice and fertile. So I'll just start with something like that. That should be fine. And at the bottom here, we can uh, just have some fishing areas. That's a, a nice spot. Yeah, so we have to pay people's wages with wheat. Later on, we'll, we'll pay them with beer as well and perhaps a clothing or, th or things like that depending on what the type of job they have. But we need this going because if we click down over here on the wheat, or uh, sorry, just below the wheat, it'll show you, like this is the time you plant the seeds. Anytime after you harvest, they plant the seeds, they start growing, and then this is when you harvest. I'll also throw down, just go to the here. I'll just put down a little bit 
of flax. So they can uh, eat the seeds, make some clothing. I love just being able to see the people running around. This is on uh, fast speed though. And they're making their own little roads. You can place down roads, I, I believe, right here. I like to see them just make their own roads. And you can also click on the building and you can raise the amount of workers. In the early game though, you don't want to play around too much with that or you'll run out of workers. Right now we're going to be getting plus 14 population coming in. I'm not sure if it's all immigration or if some of them are also born. It looks like all of these are going to be immigrants. And now we'll go to the transport and storage. So these guys are going to carry around things like wheat. They'll go to the farming areas where they're where the wheat's stored, and they'll bring it back to the town the town hall. They'll also go and gather things like mud or bricks. So I think I'll put this one right there. It's a good spot. And they also help harvest the the wheat and flax. So they'll be built there, but we're going to have to raise some donkeys. So I think I'll just move this over here. Actually, maybe I'll kind of, I don't want to block it off too much. This is where we'll raise the donkeys. always happens to me. We've run out of grain, can't pay people. 90 people have died or left the city. But we have uh, 263 grains that are raised up. But anyways, next harvest will be fine. There, you can see them go and harvest. And once they have access to the donkeys, so you don't have to buy them. It says you can, but they always seem to bring over two. And those two will be the breeding pair. Uh, but once they start using those, like there's a donkey right there. So I'm not sure how much more efficient it is, but obviously they'll be able to haul a lot more hay and, and things. So I'm going to go and get my mud pit up and running as well. And let's just do that right here. Eventually we'll have uh, like some brick making workshops. And I'll just keep them at the side there. But now I've got to, got to wait till my population comes back. Before I start like building too much stuff that requires jobs. Yeah, and later on, I might just build a transport like right down here where the, where the, the farms are. And select it so that it's only doing wheat. And you can lower its radius and things and just focus on certain areas. And then after I have one transporter focus on the farms, I could go up to this one and just uncheck wheat there. So it's not going to haul any grains. Yeah, you can see from the lack of workers, it could, because everyone died, that uh, a lot less seed was sown. But we have a thousand wheat, so we should be fine from now on until this happens again, which, you know, it, it's going to be hard to manage this. But to have a big population, we're going to need a lot of farms. And also, here's where your their, uh, their demands are. So red is pretty bad. They basically want some church. We have zero religious influence. So I should... Think about building that. The temples are right here. We can build a... I'm just concerned about building too quickly. Because we don't have a whole lot of workers. And we are slowly getting some uh, more citizens coming in. More immigrants. But you can just click on the citizens here. And you can see there's 83 jobs available. And we have 102 uh, citizens. So I'll go ahead and I'll build that temple now. I'm not sure if this temple will level up as well. I think I'll just fit that in 
right here. It's near the houses, so they'll like that. And I'm going to make some room for a canal. Once I build that canal from down here, all of this will become fertile. It's basically about, is there enough water for, the, for your fertility factor? We'll get that built, and I'll go down here and... Where is it? Alright, it's under the transport. We'll get the fish market up and running. It provides space for private sellers, collects products as payment. I think that's kind of a nice angle. It's really cool how uh, even it, it gradually builds. So that's up and running, and people are much happier. You can see this is green now. How many jobs are available? I probably can max that out. You can see them walk in there. They're going there to pray. So all this looks pretty good. Once this... Yeah, now we have uh, 64 immigrants now. Once you get that influence up, to ma once you max it out, it's much better. So for the mud pit, I'm just going to max out the number of workers and I'm going to max out the number of workers for farming. So there's 100 jobs available. I'm going to stop there. And as we get more population, I'll max out the jobs for this farm as well. Uh, once we get to 150 citizens, I'll just click on the government tab and we can build Council of Elders. Once we have that building, we can start doing the research, which is up here. And the first thing I'll do is I get the research for canals. And the people will be much happier and we'll start building some walls. Oh, so these, I wonder if I have to, uh, these are the, the buildings that collapsed when we ran out of food the first time. It might be kind of tricky I'll probably take the walls across here and go up this way. I don't want to make them too big. Uh, the walls will also affect the type of temples we can build. Like the small temple, it has to be enclosed by walls. We can't even build it. I love just seeing all the people walk by. Here's all the donkeys and everything. Okay, we're at 150, so let's go to the government tab. Oh, sorry, we need 200. I'm just gonna build another builder's area right there so we can expand our range. Because this one was. Yeah, it's kind of cut off from there. This should be a, enough to get all of our walls built around. So we can start doing the mud walls. I just get the gate here. Uh, you can flip the gates afterwards. You always want the gates to open inward. Yeah, that's the other thing too. I don't want the it too large because I want to bring the can canal up and kind of surround the walls, which will improve the quality, the value of all the land for the buildings. It just kind of snaps together. Yeah, I was hoping maybe I'll just... I'll destroy that one farm there. Yeah, just click on the zones and then you can dezone it. We'll go back to the walls. I can add the gates later on. have to make some space for temples and things. I'm not sure if I can build a canal under. I'll have to look into that. But now we're at, wow, 290, so let's go ahead and get a couple of these, these buildings. 
I'm just going to place them over here. Uh, four should be enough. They they research. It's uh, pretty fast. You can see the gradual buildings kind of... There, you can see it there. The next temple I build, I'll show you guys that. I think you guys missed this one being built. I'm just going to go and max that one out. Yeah, we don't have enough jobs, actually. Okay, so now I went I, I maxed out the jobs with the transporters. Because they're going to come down he here and <clears throat> take the mud back to Town Hall. I maxed out these jobs because they're obviously not planted enough. But we have enough wheat, so that's, that's the main thing. Okay, unfortunately we have an epidemic. So hopefully not too many people die. But this is going to be, be over here. You can check out the land value, the land values, and you can see the health, the water access. We'll improve that at least. The land value, which is very little, we're just getting some value because of the temple right there. Okay, so thankfully the pandemic appears to be over. The angry god has finally abandoned our city after 39 days. Okay. Well, 69 people have died, but we're still we're still doing well. Fortunately, I have to destroy this wall because I messed that up. I'm just going to go ahead and to destroy that one as well. I'm going to put a gate there so they can actually... Oh, I guess... Oh, so you can build the gate directly. It just... This was interfering with those farms. So just destroy those farms and then I'll build that gate again. And then build the citizen farming out here. I think that should be more than enough for now. Still waiting on the council of elders. Have my new builder site there. I maxed out all the workers for both builders. So now we can expand pretty far with where we can build things. So I'm just working on getting the donkey transports built down here. And we'll have that just focus on... We'll change the radius so that it's only focused on the farming area. So that should be fine. And I guess I could just remove. Actually, I think I'll keep all that there. There's nothing else that's really in range. I'm just going to mostly just work on the farming. And then this one, we'll just remove it from is a good range. We'll just remove that from gathering the wheat. And this way I'll just be much more efficient. You can just modify the way you want it to work. But now that we've got the elders built, how many jobs do I have? So I might not, I'll just keep it at 20 for now. We'll click up here on the question mark and now I can do irrigation. And then once that's built, I, I love to see the canals being built. It's really cool. And then we'll see all this uh, like pale green get all greened up just like uh, over here. And we'll see more, a lot more trees growing too once the land's more fertile. Uh, so are they actually doing anything yet? There's just nine people working inside. I think they're just walking to work right now. I think I'll just put some houses outside. We'll have like the upper class citizens within the walls. And we only have uh, one dock being built. Let's 
put a few houses down there. We'll see what happens. And then we'll look at the workshops. Yeah, so the workshop is almost full. Let's put a few more there. Oh, I didn't realize it like just uh it's already unlocked. So the next thing I'll probably do is uh the brick building will give us a small temple, so we'll go for the brick building, yeah. I didn't see the irrigation progress. So let's go for mosaic it's really fast. I have twenty or uh, forty workers in there. So now that the canals are available. Now I can choose how I bring the water up. So I might have to move those two buildings. I did build another farm down there because they're not getting everything seeded. But uh, you can just click and drag like this. And then just to get like a curve, I just kind of do some extra clicks. And I don't know if I can get around those. I have to just go and remove those from for now. But that's going to take a lot of time to build. And so I'll click on the water again. And this is how you can have uh, a, sh a shadoof so you can go and gather water. You can only build it on one side of the canal, though. I'm not sure exactly where they'll need it. Just kind of build it all around. And then we have some nice uh, bridges. So I'll place that there. Maybe one there. I built that right on the Shadu. If I can just get rid of that. I can also build wells, which is nice. I think like this part of the game is really cool. You can see how they're, they're digging down. And once they get down to the water here, we'll see the water come in. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long now. I guess this is all just like water type plants. Okay, there we go. Okay, beautiful. Now we're going to see all this area start to green up. This is just brown because of uh, the path they've made from walking. And, oh, there we go. We got level two houses now as well. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, can they house more citizens? I'm assuming they probably can. Oh, we also have level two private workshops. And the market stall doesn't say anything about levels. But uh, I should be able to place that temple as well. Now, this temple has to be built within city walls. Uh, maybe I'll just have it kind of like in this direction. And then we can build some... I don't know, it's not going to look the best there. I can kind of rearrange this stuff later. This is just like the, be the beginning of our civilization. But I'll build that right there. We're going to need some bricks for that as well, I think. Yeah. So we'll go down to the building menu and we can make a brickyard. Just press an X to rotate this. And yeah, I'll just put it at this, this side. We'll put two of them there. And we'll just max out the workers. And we'll see them come in and start making uh, bricks. I guess there's, those are like uh, buckets of water. And they're bringing the mud.
Yeah, there we go. She's making some bricks. I'm going to go and do units of weight. So I have 80 uh, plus 80 max state workers and doctors. I'm going to need some doctors. So this will provide health and increases authority. And you can see what their needs are. Mud wall. We can easily upgrade the walls. You can select them all. There's a select tool right here. And we can just upgrade them to bricks and things. But yeah, this doctor should help solve our, our plague crisis. I'm just going to work down here. We'll get plus 80 max state workers, get some potter wheels, and then some uh, wheeled vehicles. I might want to go to warehouses next and vaults. But uh, the research is quite fast. There's a whole bunch of levels here though, so like unlocks after 2,000 and 5,000 citizens. So that's, uh, that's pretty far away. And I think my grain... So I think I'm doing better, but I'm still not covering all the ground with the seeding. But I, I didn't have this at max, so this should solve that. Oh, and the transporters, I'll max that. These transporters are only doing the farming. And this should almost be built. So I clicked on the grain, I can see what's in stock. We've got 50 bricks. We got a lot of mud. So we're good for that stuff. And it must have unlocked some new buildings, I think. So the clay pit. We have a mud pit right there. And then a pottery workshop. So I think I'll just do that over here. This is almost built. Okay, so I've been playing for a bit. You can see that the farms are being fully seeded. And I've started a cattle farm here. I'm not sure if these will just appear. Or if I'll have to buy those. This just got completed. The farming is doing much better. I got the canal built all the way around. There's the citizen farming. That's all built. And here's that brick temple we got. It looks really nice. I've been building some walls throughout the city. So all of these houses are level two, or the workshops are level two. Everything's looking really good. And I'm just upgrading this gate right now so we can kind of see uh, what these upgrades will look like. The mud wall doesn't look so great, right? But I'll just upgrade these and, we'll and I'm going to have to buy some cattle, it looks like. That's how I'll get the leather. So I'm going to need a lot more food. Because if I buy two, that's 1,200. And I don't know if I'll have enough. It looks like I might have enough for, for uh, this season. So we didn't quite get all of that uh, done, though. So anyways, guys, I'm going to cut the video here. Please give the video a like, subscribe, become a member, and we'll see you on the next episode.